El Nino is on everyone's minds, but don't let the dark clouds scare you. There's some easy things to do to get your garden ready for the rain. Clean out your rain gutters so water flows into the downspout instead of spilling over the eaves and flattening all the plants below. Remove dishes from under potted plants so they don't stand in water. Plants can literally drown if the roots stay wet for too long. This goes for any time of year, not just the rainy season. Secure straw waddles across bare hillsides. These speed bumps slow water as it flows downhill, preventing erosion and maybe even a mudslide. If the hillside is truly bare, you can also spread woven jute fabric over the surface to protect it. Use mulch to prevent erosion. A thick layer of coarse wood-based mulch should do the trick. Mulch acts like a sponge by absorbing rain and holding it. Remember to keep mulch away from the stems and trunks so they don't stay wet for too long. Keep water from pooling by filling in low spots or creating earthworks to channel water so it can spread across the soil. Stay off wet soil. It might seem like an invitation to dig or weed, but when you walk on wet soil you compact it, and that's not good for the soil or for your plants. Still, the rain has some benefits. Rain leaches out the salts that can build up in soil over time, especially with all the calcium and other salts in our hard water. All the plants, trees in particular, get that drink of water they're long overdue for. When there are a few days between rains, get out there and plant. Plants have a far higher survival rate when they're planted in the cooler, wetter months of the year. Plant a cover crop in your vegetable garden. This green manure adds organic matter and nutrients to the soil. It also helps create good soil texture. Six weeks before your spring planting, turn the cover crop under and let the plants compost in place. Into every garden, a little rain must fall. So once you're prepared, sit back and enjoy. <laughs>